Jenna, thank you so much. You're an MMA fighter, personal trainer, a coach. I so appreciate you taking time out of your day to jump on a call with me. Absolutely. Uh, you just had your first MMA fight just in September. What was that mm -hmm. experience like? What's going through your mind as you're walking to the cage there? It was a lot of uh, feelings mixed together. There was anxiousness. Uh, I was excited. Um, I don't know. I had definitely just focusing on my breathing and making sure I was aware of my game plan walking out there I seemed I don't know ready I mean yeah. the moment that I got in the cage I just couldn't settle like I couldn't stand still so <laughs> I was just itching to get ready for it yeah awesome that was just your first fight are you gonna get back in the cage or when can us fans expect to see you back in the cage uh yeah I would love to get in as soon as possible I am okay. working with the FCFF here in Portland Oregon they uh, are the ones that host um, Rumble at the Roseland at gotcha. the Roseland Theater they have their next one is December 21st and I've already been working with the organizer to get the next one set up so we're just waiting and hoping that we can kind of we get a girl that is the right match as far as skill level and experience basically so it's a it's a good match sure absolutely now you were a ring girl at one point and what made you decide yeah. to start training in mma and ultimately decide to you know get in the cage and compete it pretty much started with my trainer who uh, was previously a co-worker of mine we both were uh, personal trainers together um okay. and so i had seen him working with some of his clients of just holding pads for boxing and kickboxing in our gym and i think for a lot of women just to know even basic self-defense moves or is not not only a good idea but it's also very empowering it's you know it's fun it's a good outlet for stress and anxiety yeah. so i grabbed five sessions from him and all his history and i've loved it and continued ever since i started okay very cool now i think if i was reading your instagram right you're a coach at the ufc gym in honolulu sometimes and and certified personal trainer were you athletic yeah. as a kid and uh, what sparked yeah. you to really get into the fitness business? Yeah, I mean, I played sports since I can remember. I mean, okay. I I grew up very much a tomboy. Uh, okay. I grew up doing goodness pretty any pretty much any sport I could jump into. My main sports were soccer, and I grew up a gymnast as well. So okay. hand eye coordination, you know, body awareness was something that I I grew up with and. I was always very athletic, so when I got into this transition of MMA, um, it was pretty natural for me. It wasn't too yeah. hard. Pushing myself and challenging myself is always something that I've really enjoyed as, you know, being a leader throughout, you know, my, my soccer teams and competing in gymnastics. It's something that just felt right and was very natural for me. Very nice. What was the reaction from your parents when you were like, hey, I'm going to go get in a cage and go punch some people and get punched? <laughs> Uh, well, I, I grew uh, I grew up in a very Christian household, so okay. I mean, violence and this sort of uh, activity isn't necessarily like favored or condoned necessarily. But uh, sure. my parents are the most amazing supportive parents that I think anyone could ever ask for. Um, you know, I, I told them this and they were a little hesitant, but sure. ultimately my, my parents moved originally from Tucson. So my parents moved back to Arizona about a little over a month ago. And so okay. my mom flew out about two weeks after the move just to come back and see my first fight. And cool. My dad wished he could be there, but he was just starting up a new job, so leaving wasn't necessarily a very uh, time bound for him. So, sure. <laughs> but yeah, they were they were supportive. Very cool. Now you're a big traveler. In fact, I think are you in Italy right now? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's awesome. Now. Thank yeah. you so much. That's so cool. <laughs> but yeah. uh, curious if you have a favorite travel destination. Oh gosh. So we just got here to Venice. We uh, were in Santorini last and I, uh, my degree from school anyways is in architecture and engineering. And so uh -huh. to see these places that are designed on waterways to see like Santorini that is built up on such a cliff side, it is amazing how they could do these things. Um, the sunsets there were absolutely gorgeous, but um, yeah, it's kind of hard to not say Santorini considering that's where we were just last and it was breathtaking, <laughs> absolutely amazing. So right. I would maybe say that so far. 
Very cool. Now, you have a really awesome-looking dog, a Golden Doodle. What's the dog's name? <laughs> yeah, his name is Clark. Clark. Oh, that's a cool <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite type of music or favorite band that you listen to? I would say my go-to is going to be either like a hip-hop or rap artist of some sort. I think along with what, what a lot of people would say is it's, it varies and depends upon my mood and, you sure. know, how I'm feeling, but... Um, I would say if I'm looking for something to work out to, um, it's instantly going to be something upbeat and tempo and probably more hip hop based. Gotcha. Gotcha. A uh, last question for you. You posted this picture of you holding this huge fish, I think down in Jamaica. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is, is that the biggest fish you've caught? I mean, that thing was massive. Uh, yeah, that's the biggest fish I've caught. <laughs> I'm definitely, I mean, I've been fishing with my dad ever since I was little, but I never... Okay really did any deep sea fishing or anything um to that extent until i started dating my current boyfriend tim okay. lemon uh he was really the one that got me into to going out to all these travel sites and seeing what we could catch but yeah that my my was maybe only about 50 60 pounds and that's nothing in comparison to the things that he does but it's sure. definitely addicting I bet. I bet. Well, uh, Jenna, I also wanted to give you an opportunity just to give a shout out to coaches, teammates, sponsors, anything like that. The camera's all yours. Absolutely. I mean, I think, honestly, I have some of the best support system that I could possibly ask for. My my boyfriend has been there to support me and encourage me the entire way. My parents are 100% behind me to back me and you know, love me no matter what sort of situation. My trainer, Dan Walsh, is, he is very, you know, he's hard, he's supportive, you know, he keeps me humble, you know, as much as I want to think I can kind of take on the world and any, and face any competitor, uh, he, you know, likes to point out the things I can work on, my areas of opportunity, and he has been obviously what pretty much got me to this point as far as fighting. Um, my gym that I'm at here in Portland, uh, Alive Mixed Martial Arts uh, is who I represent. And then I've had a lot of help um, just in the short time that I was in Honolulu from Micah Sampson, from uh, Justin Perry, which is our fitness director there at the UFC okay. gym Honolulu. Um, all the love and support, you know, some of my best friends, uh, I couldn't do it without everyone's love and support and even their criticism. So it pushes me to be better. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you shouldn't get any criticism. You're a warrior. You get into that cage. That's awesome. I like being on this side. So thank yeah. you for, <laughs> thank you for doing what you do. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. but, uh, I'm excited for December to see you back in the cage and uh, so appreciate your time, Jenna. I really thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey guys, thank you so much for hanging around. Really appreciate it. If you'd like to see more videos from Top Rated MMA and the Bearded Biz Show, please click the playlist and also hit subscribe to our channel. Become part of the Top Rated MMA and Bearded Biz community. We would really appreciate your support. Also, please leave a comment below. I will read and respond to all of them. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.